EA Sports. It's in the game. John Mackinac here alongside my old buddy Pat Cash. We are excited for this big match here today. Looking forward to sitting next to you, Mac, and uh, expecting some some thrills and spills. We got the easy job here. We just uh, get to talk about it. The key for Roger Federer really today is to settle down quickly, use his first serve well, and get his great returns. So once he's in the point, he's a real, real danger. using the whole court and then finishing it off, bam. So you're hitting balls straight up and down to your opponent. Why should you hit the ball to the side? It's easier to hit the ball standing there where you know where it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you gotta test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the ball on the run. And secondly, what type of fitness level he has, because let's face it, as the match progresses and you start wearing down, it's tougher to come up with those running passing shots. Oh, he's got lots of power. What a cross-court forehand winner. All right, John, discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommended to hit, <laughs> hit with depth. Well, it's a good effort to hold serve there, John. Here's what I like. That was some good, aggressive play. Good to see that. You also got what you see a lot, Pat, is this one-two punch in the game now. They got the big serve. They followed up with those huge forehands. A massive forehands with massive spin these days. Well, there's one way to get to a player's weakness, and that's, well, to hit their strength. What that does is opens the opportunity, it opens the court up so you can hit it in quickly into their weakness and attack. Quick <laughs> use your strength there for a clean ace. Speed and balance across the net. What a great volley winner. And game point now. Well, it takes some touch in the volley winner off that. She's opened the face of the racket very well. Hit it down the line for a winner. Driving backhand down the line, which has been a very good shot today. Well, only two points away from the game. Oh, she's quick across the net. That's a great volley winner. Well, you can see how hard these players have to work. 
And I tell you what, when I was playing, I used to hate the old line drills where I used to do sprinting from one corner of the line to the next line to the next line from the old, uh, from the old practice court. But boy, did it do you good. And you can see that's absolutely required in this uh, game of tennis. Break points, absolutely crucial to get the serve in. Well, made that forehand down the line look easy for a clean winner. It's break point. I don't know if it's time to take a risk. first break isn't it I mean, they're always important to get it. but early on in this set that's absolutely crucial. early in the set get the edge psychologically some confidence get things rolling in your favor well done there obviously you can employ spins more on the grass court don't you think pat you used to do that especially at that back end well i think the slice back end is a is a crucial thing um i think uh certainly when the ball is is short i believe it's a, a great opportunity to get into the net and use your volleys. Oh, that's a winner. In trouble, but she's still trying. All right, the player has a break point after just having been broken. This would be huge right here if they could get the break back. Well, that's a good win. That's, uh, the focus is just starting to go back with the opponent now. But uh, there's still a bit of work to be done, so no unforced errors. And try and switch the, the pressure back onto the opponent and see if they can serve it out. Okay, the player is looking for a, a strong service game here to consolidate the break and really take control of this match. That ball nicely before it dipped. Great volley winner. Taken a while, but she's finally got the juice on the serve. And game point now. Well, really important game, consolidating the break. Look, there's no point in getting a break if you're just going to give it back in the next game. Down the line winner.
Just cutting good. that angle off beautifully there. That takes a lot of touch to hit a shot like that. Pressure on here. a big break point. Well, that's a good effort moving ahead in this set now. Now you need to step it up to really take control. You can get another break here. Oh, it's all over, isn't it? That's, that's what I'm saying. Well, he's about to serve at the start of the game. Volley brilliantly. She's got in quickly, good balance, punched the volley for a winner. having been broken. That often happens in tennis. You lose your serve, but you refocus and bring the intensity up and try to get that break right back. Well, one point at a time here. First serve. Yeah. Well, the amazing thing about the doubles is uh, if anything can happen, there's a lot of action going on around the net. and. Uh, it's a, it's a good effort, really, to break back. I used to tell my uh, partner, I said, look, just get it in the court, okay? I don't care where it goes, just get it in the court and I'll poach, okay? And you get behind me, whatever way I go, you go the other way. Now there's all this stuff going on behind your back. I mean, <laughs> you, 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 it's like you, you have to take a course in hand signals. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Nice touch there. That's a very delicate winner. Absolutely thumping shots right from the word go. Point. 
Oh, that was pure reflex from that big serve. Clean winner. Here it, here it again, match point. I mean, this is where you can say to yourself, I've stood tall. Well, what do you think about that? That's, uh, that just went right down to the wire. It's too bad it had to end. I tell you, I was, I was, I was hoping actually to even go a little bit longer, but uh, it was a great match by both players. Hard fought, some highly skilled tennis, and at the end, uh, it was, it was what we expected. A very close match. John McEnroe here alongside Pat Cash. A couple final words. Boy, wouldn't it be great to play with crowds like that? Oh, the atmosphere was absolutely electric. And I think uh, I think the players raised their game. I think it really helped them along. No doubt about it. The quality of...